Hey, what's up? This is uh, Mark Brown from Pocket Gamer. We're checking out the new Warhammer 40,000 game, Warhammer 40,000 Carnage, so named because there have been about 40,000 Warhammer games released on iOS recently, you know, with Space Hulk and Storm of Vengeance and, I guess, Armageddon and Einhorn Xenos, and I don't know, some of them are coming out, some of them are out, there's, there's hundreds of them. Games Workshop is really not letting up. Uh, this one is quite a bit different than the rest of the games in the series. Most of the ones we've been playing have been more uh, strategic and tactical based. This one is a big, dumb shooter uh, action game. Run and gun, side scrolling, action thingy uh, with these weird little chickens on with teeth. Uh, so you're a space marine dude and an ultramarine to be specific. And you are running around through these simple levels killing orcs with guns and swords and a block button and the idea really is to just keep smashing your way through these these dudes uh, in an attempt to unlock dosh which you can then spend on better better swords and guns to better uh, destroy these weird green orc dudes uh, it's quite a simple game as far as I've played so far there's not really too much in the way of um, thought, tactics, strategy, skill. Uh, it's a bit of a button basher. But uh, if you are into your Warhammers, maybe you'll find something to like. Not a big Warhammer fan. Um, I did used to paint the figures when I was a little kid, mostly because my brother was kind of into it. And you know, if you're a younger sibling, uh, you just want to do whatever you're big brother is doing. He was painting these Warhammer figures, I wanted to do it. I was about four years old so I just sort of dipped them in a tin of green paint and they were the worst thing in the world. Um, so as you win you've got a three star scoring system, it's an iOS game of course, and you get ranked on your kills, your combos, your time you took and the wounds uh, that you su su uh, took, sustained, sustained, sustained as you were fighting your way through the battles. Between levels you've got your character screen, you've got this dude and he's got his power pack, his, pu his plate of valor, his pistol, his helmet, his pants and his knife. And then you can buy extra stuff um, to say, okay, helm of valor, helm of valor. I don't quite understand how this works, but we've got a right of remedy, which is some kind of accessory, and heals 3.5 health every three, three seconds. So let's buy that with our 49 monies uh, and then let's upgrade it uh, these menus are really kind of weird okay and what do we do with it we put it in our power pack okay we can say like instead of having a helmet instead of having a helmet have a power pack no we can't okay so now we've got this right of remedy uh, so the game obviously does have its own in-app purchases uh, so they cost question mark question mark question mark. That's weird. They didn't cost that <laughs> last time I looked. They were two ninety nine to thirteen ninety nine. Never mind. Never mind. It costs money. There are in app purchases to you know speed up the uh you know getting stuff. This is how this game works. We got a map. You know every game. It's weird. Every iOS game. These big iOS games that come out and they give every other iOS game afterwards the the grammar and the language of, of how to make a game. So ever since Angry Birds we've had a three star scoring system, ever since Candy Crush Saga we've got to have a map with our little Facebook picture on it. Uh, I don't quite understand how the map works to be honest. Drop pod landing I've done. This is a fire team mission. Don't quite know. These are people on my friends list. None of these people own this game to be honest. Let's uh not do this. It's got some kind of social stuff. You know, the usual. The usual. This was difficulty normal. Let's see if we can find a harder game level. Difficulty normal. Ugh, these buttons are really small. I mean, if you can imagine that, that is about a quarter or a fifth of the size of my thumb. Much. It's, it's really small. It's like hitting a, a pinhead. Uh, I think this game may have been designed for an iPad. Though the graphics are kind of gross. Uh, in general, and they're not particularly nice looking, so I would not really like to see this on a 10 inch screen. Uh, so we have. Um, oh, 
Bye. That's weird. So you can't go back on the screen like Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. You can't go back once the camera's gone. That guy just ran away. The only real sort of bit of uh, sort of strategy you can um, you can use in this game. Help. Well, there's a very small little step for me not to be able to run up. Um, whoa, is a block move. And whether or not to use a sword or a gun. Wow, this guy's actually doing a little bit of damage. Um, but really, it's kind of a dumb action game. You know, I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm not saying that in a bad way. Dumb action games can be a lot of fun. Uh, I just mean it's not. It's, it's kind of brainless. And also, you can just run over. You can just run, jump over enemies. Let's see if we can just. Oh God. I was going to say, let's see if we can just jump over all the enemies, but that, well, that didn't go very well. Got a red thing, a health pack, let's use that. Bye! That's so weird. The characters just run underneath you. And, uh... I'm going to run away from that guy. They only shoot one way, so... It didn't really matter if I run away. But I guess it's not so much about staying alive, but killing enough enemies to get you enough currency to get enough stuff, I don't know. Uh, to get cool weapons and thingamajigs. Um, I assume this has something to do with actual Warhammer lore, if that means anything to you, if that, if that term doesn't just make you, uh, you know, yawn and... Okay, I'm going to have to kill this guy. Uh, yeah. If the, if the term Warhammer lore doesn't just immediately send you to sleep, I'm sure this game has got something going on. Um, we actually have an article on the site, I'm sure you can find it if you Google it. Oh, what happened there? I got a poor score. Uh, that um, an actual Warhammer knowledgeable person, Harry, wrote telling you what all of these different games are about in terms of the Warhammer lore and how they fit in. Anyway, this is Warhammer 40k Carnage. It's a, it's a bit repetitive, a bit shallow. There's not really much going on in this game, but I have only just scratch the surface. We'll have a full review and we'll see how you get on with the in-app purchases and different weapons and upgrading and whatnot uh, in sometime this week. So thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more iOS games being previewed in front of your very eyes. And uh, until whenever we next do a video, bye!